Hello everybody, this is uh, Ace Alexander. I'm bringing you a guide on what I believe to be the best melee XP method in the game. I'm currently doing this guide on my pure Ace Legend. The stats are 75 attack, 82 strength, 13 defense, which is irrelevant for the purpose of this guide, and I'm also 52 prayer, 80 hit points. For this guide, let me first give you a brief disclaimer. While this is what I believe to be one of the best melee methods, this shouldn't be mistaken for the best melee experience. The reason I say that is because you're going to be making very profitable uh, gains as well as reasonably high XP gains that might not be the best. If you're a main, you have mechanics such as Daraking and Nightmare Zone as well as using Dragon Claws with Lunar Diplomacy spell Energy Transfer in your player owned house for gains of up to 150 plus thousand experience an hour. In this video, we have very basic requirements. The requirements to get our wonderful melee method is 65 Slayer, as well as the Slayer Helmet, or the Face Mask if you're a 1 Defense Pure. We're going to be killing Dust Devils in Zaya, and I'll explain that in a minute. For our gear setup, I like to use the Holy Sandals. The plus 3 prayer is better than the plus 2 strength alone, as far as the difference between the climbing boots. If you're a main, you can go ahead and use your dragon boots if you'd like. We want to use the best in slot that we have for our hands. In my case, it's the adamant gloves. We have 7 to our melee attack as well as 7 strength, which is far better than the holy wraps. I'm just using the best prayer boosting gear that I can, which in this case would be the vestment robes. If you're a main, proselyte is actually better, the proselyte armor, the 30 defense prayer boosting armor. Don't forget, you can always pay 50k for a little plus one prayer boost in your ammunition slot. I'm using the Amulet of Torture. This is the best for melee training. Now, if you do not want to spend 14 million coins on an amulet, because that is very expensive, feel free to go ahead and use a Fury. And if you don't even want to get a Fury, a Glory is perfectly fine. Um, while we do sacrifice our plus, three, our plus two strength for plus three prayer, while that's a good decision with our boots, it's actually better to sacrifice plus 3 prayer in exchange for 2 strength and 5 attack that we get from the Amulet of Torture. You must use a Slayer Helmet to kill Dust Devils. If you don't use a Slayer Helmet, you're not going to be killing Dust Devils for very long. I'm using a trimmed uh, skill cape. Plus 4 prayer is very beneficial. You can use the Fire Cape for a little bit more DPS. And for our weapon, I'm using the Ceradoman Sword. You could go ahead and use the Abyssal Bludgeon. If you want to try and attack, you can also go ahead and use a whip, as well as a book, the Unholy Book. And also, a very uh, pivotal point, we should be using the Ring of Wealth for this uh, method. Since the Dust Devil drop update with the Slayer update back about last year, maybe a year ago in the summer, they drop a lot of coins, so we're going to be building up a huge coin stack. I'm going to show you how to get there, and I'm also going to show you why this method is mostly AFK. What I do is I use a skills necklace, I go right to the woodcutting guild in Zaya. From here, all that I want to do is run up to this bank. Now, at this bank, there is a little hole that you climb down after accessing it through the catacombs. If you haven't already done this, uh, if you haven't already climbed up, just go to the great... My map is dysfunctional. Just go to the statue in Zaya after talking to Veos, the NPC who will take you there. And you can very simply just go down, climb up, and you can use this shortcut from now on, this hole right here. So we've already gone over our gear setup. Pretty much max DPS plus prayer. If you're a main, you can go ahead and use bandos. However, uh, you still want to use the prayer method if you're going to do this AFK, which I'll explain in a minute. Also, if you have a gem bag, I have a gem bag because I'm high mining. If you have an herb sack and you're high slayer, go ahead and use that. It can only help. We also want to be bringing quite a few Alks. The Ring of Wealth is going to generate us a large coin stack, and the Alks are going to help us Alk uh, medium level drops. We do get them very frequently. So now that we're climbing down into the catacombs, what we're going to want to do is just run right here past the King Sand Crabs. You can go ahead and use Prey, Lay Prey Melee if you'd like. I just do it just to do it. I don't want to be taking damage. Over here, you're going to see somebody more than likely using Burst, 
And over here, we see a main who is not AFKing. Well, he is AFKing, but he's not doing it properly. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to be polite to this gentleman, and I'm actually going to hop worlds. Okay, so it's pretty easy to find a world. This method is not as abused as it should be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pot up, and basically, the way to keep yourself AFK here is to simply aggro them all, and then they will stay on you for at least a good minute and a half. You can do this AFK, you can almost do this as if you're using this account as an alternate account, which is where you play this account mostly AFK while you're doing something on your main. Personally, I've managed to do pest control and pretty much get the entire void set while doing this method. While doing this method AFK, at these levels, you can get yourself about 65,000 strength XP per hour, and you're also getting yourself a minimum of about 5 coins per XP, that's GP per XP as far as your efficiency is concerned. If you do this method from if if you do this method from the mid 70s all the way to 99 it is primarily AFK and you will also make yourself about well about 60 million coins per 99 so this is obviously as you can tell an extremely powerful method to training your melee I don't know why it's not abused more another thing you can do a very low cost but high reward uh, prayer function is to use this superhuman strength you're increasing your strength by 10% and while using a super strength, you're basically giving yourself an extra 10% DPS, which is translated into an extra 10% XP. You can go from making about 65k XP to about 70-71k XP per hour at these low levels. Remember, as you level up, so will your experience gains. So that's all for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and share it. Subscribe to the channel for more of these videos, these raw, unedited guides on great methods and things to do in RuneScape. Um, that's about it. This channel is very new, so if you would subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. If you do not like this video, feel free to tell me why in the comment section, and I will do everything in my power to hopefully bring you a better quality video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope this method helps you in your RuneScape grind.